Hi, this is Virginia Madsen, and you're watching Del Marva Light. Virginia Madsen, so beautiful. Neat lady. Yeah. Very well spoken. Yes, absolutely. Well, there are so many pets on Del Marva who are part of a loving family, but not all of them are that lucky. There are hundreds of dogs and cats who are sitting and waiting for someone to adopt them. And that's why for the next several weeks, Brian Spiros is going to be visiting humane societies and SPCA facilities across Del Marva, showing us the animals that are ready for adoption. Well, he's at the Humane Society of Wicomico County this afternoon with our very first group of adoptees. Brian, who you got? Well, Jimmy and Lisa, it's a great group. As a matter of fact, a lot of the animals here when I get on camera, you'll probably hear some of them barking in the background. But we have two dogs and two cats we're going to introduce you to in just a moment. But first, I want to introduce you to David Fitzgerald, who is the executive director of the Humane Society of Wicomico County. First thing, you guys see a lot of animals this time of year. Why is that? Well, usually in the spring and summer months, we get inundated with puppies and kittens. And of course, all year we have all four dogs, cats, kittens, puppies, and we encourage everybody to come out and visit the local Humane Society. Come out and visit us, see if they can find that new forever friend and family member uh, with the pets that we have here. All right, very good. And speaking of which, we're going to introduce people to some of those pets sure. now. First, we have Babe. We're going to bring yeah. Babe on over. And tell us a little bit about Babe, David. Babe is a seven-year-old female. She's a Chesapeake Bay Retriever. She's a, a fun dog. She's a water dog. But she would make a wonderful new pet. Again, she's seven years old. And sometimes we get these senior dogs that just need a little bit more attention. And But she'll be a wonderful dog. See, she sits for treats. So if you come out, and you can adopt Babe. Have a meet and greet with Babe. Where sure. She's described as loyal. She likes exercise. And she's OK with other dogs, but no cats. Yeah, no cats. We're not recommending her any family with cats. But other dogs, she seems to be fine. She's trying to get a treat for her. Oh, babe, there's your treat. Babe, thank you very much. She did great. All right, and next, we have Scarlett. Scarlett is extremely excited about being on TV here this afternoon. We'll bring Scarlett in here. Scarlett's a foxhound. She's three years old, and she, she's very, very playful. Come here, Scarlett. She's very playful, and she, she's already starting to learn to do things for treats. So she's going to need a family, again, that'll spend some time training her. That uh, She's already got her eyes on, on some different cats and dogs, but she's uh, very friendly. She's uh, three years old. So we'd have, love to have you come out and visit with Scarlett. Loves to play, and as loves you said, you're going to need an owner that, that has some time to really, you know, so, help train her and, and, and dedicate to exactly. her. Exactly. She's just going to need some training and some time to spend. So it needs to be a family that's active and is going to have time to dedicate to the animal. All right. Scarlett, very good. Scar Scarlett, I have a treat for you if you want it. You seem to be getting a lot of treats. Here you go. All right. She has more treats. They're falling out of her mouth. All right. There you go. Scarlett, thank you very much. So those are the dogs. Those are just some of the dogs you guys have. Next, we're going to do the cats. Yep. Next, we have Jinx. It's Jinx on over. Tell us about Jinx. Yeah, Jinx is a, is a black domestic short hair. Jinx loves to sit in people's laps, so she'd make a wonderful. He'd make a wonderful lap cat. Uh, so please come out. Sometimes our black cats are hard to adopt, but they do make a loving uh, friend and loving new animal. And she, she's a little excited out here right. with all the dogs and with all the lights. But she certainly would, in a calm environment, uh, make a wonderful new pet. And how is she with other animals? If someone has a cat or dog in the house already, <laughs> seems to be okay. See, she's very playful. And Jinx wants so, out. So Jinx, Jinx wants, wants out. out. So. You know what? It happens. Even people get afraid of the camera yep. sometimes. So Jinx is roaming around. So, so Jinx, we're gonna let Jinx roam around a little Jinx, bit. Jinx will roam around. Hey, this is what happens when you work with animals on TV. Yep. And Next we have Gizzy. Tell us about this, this is Gizzy. Uh, most of our cats are domestic short hairs, but Gizzy is a domestic medium hair. One uh, thing to point out about Gizzy is he's front declawed. So if you're concerned about furniture or scratch or have little kids, Gizzy's already front declawed. Came to us as a stray. So uh, again, just a little different breed of cat. Domestic medium hair is going to shed a little more, but certainly we come out and spend time, find Gizzy, Jinx, and all the other wonderful cats and kittens that we have here. And Gizzy is described as very sweet, so it would make a great addition to as someone's you see, very, family. Very wonderful. Right. Very, very pretty boy. All right. And Jinx is still roaming around freely. So a lot of great animals, and there's a lot more where these came from. So, David, thank you very much. We yep. really appreciate it. Now, no if you would like more information on the animals we just introduced you to or any of the other animals here at the Humane Society of Wicomico County, just go to our website, delmarvelife.com, and click on the show tab. Now, speaking of our website, we want to tell you about Pet Connect on delmarvelife.com. Here's a little bit about it. We've created Pet Connect as a free service to help lost pets get back home and for abandoned ones to find new homes. Now, if you found or sighted a lost animal, lost a pet, or are interested in giving an abandoned one a forever home, please use Pet Connect and share it with all of those in your social networks. Again, on our website, delmarvalife.com. Great group of dogs. So many where those came from. I encourage people you definitely want to adopt. With that said, Jimmy and Lisa, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Hey, Brian, we found Jinx. Yeah. We found Jinx. Yeah. There. There's Jinx. There's Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> but like Jinx was checking us out there I a little bit. So. <laughs>
like to go home with you. <laughs> we'll say, still ahead on Delmarva Life. The reality summer show Big Brother returns for its 15th season tonight on WBOC. We've already met the house guests. Now it's time to see the house they'll live in for the next couple of months. Host Julie Chen gives us a behind the scenes tour next. But first, we've teamed up with Sussex County Federal Credit Union to help you make better sense of your money. Here's Deb with this week's tip. On behalf of Sussex County Federal Credit Union, I'm Debbie Jewell with this week's Dollars and Cents tip. We are all committed to improving our physical health. Many people purchase a gym membership, follow a strict diet plan, or exercise religiously, all in an effort to lose weight, improve health, and reduce stress. However, most people aren't as committed to their financial health and well-being. Many people overlook the effects that financial stress can have on the body. Did you know that feeling overwhelmed by financial issues can lead to decreased productivity, absenteeism from work, as well as stress-induced physical and mental health issues? Performing a checkup of your finances is just as important as having a physical health checkup. Best of all, it doesn't require you to buy a membership, purchase any specialty foods, or take time out of your daily schedule. I challenge you to perform a financial checkup and make a commitment to improve your financial well-being. First, examine your income and expenses. Determine if there are expenses you can reduce or eliminate. Second, identify key areas where many consumers carry extra weight. Take a hard look at the interest rate on your credit card, auto loans, home equity loan, or mortgage. Oftentimes, these loans can be refinanced for a lower rate, therefore providing a lower monthly payment. Third, establish a long and short-term plan to reach your goals. Just as you would put steps in place to lose weight or lower your cholesterol, make a commitment to refinance and reduce debt while increasing your savings. Best of all, the process can begin from the comfort of your home by applying online at sussexcfcu.com. Together, we can achieve more.